Good morning, Rio Norte. I'm Trinity. And I'm Nalia, and this is Rio School News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Attention all CJSF members. Today is the last day to vote for your spring 2019 CJSF officers. Please visit the CJSF website to vote for your officers. Remember, you must be a CJSF member this semester to vote. If you have any questions, see Ms. Mays in room B4. Does your family have gently used towels? The Claws Club is seeking donations for a dog rescue group. These towels will help the rescue dog volunteers wash the homeless dogs they find in the streets. If you have old beach or be bath towels you would like to donate to the club, please drop it up in the counseling office. Let's check out another crazy story from one of our teachers at Rio. Hello, Rio Norte. I'm Jeremy Lanau, and this is the second episode of Crazy Teacher Stories. Right now, I'm going to interview one of our math teachers, Miss Van Dyke. Hello, Miss Van Dyke. Are you have an interesting story for us today? I do. I have a pretty crazy story. Okay, so some of you may recognize part of the story because it happened a couple years ago in the area, um, but you don't know all of it. So you may have heard the unfortunate part of the story in which um, in the middle of the night, there were some teenagers who went down to the Circle K by Ralph's to the gas station and they decided to try and steal some beer and cigarettes and the person working there apprehended them and stopped them from stealing it. Two of the kids were back down and one of them didn't and ended up stabbing the man in the face and neck. Um, so that was the really bad part. So this happened in the middle of the night. Nobody knew about this at that, at that time. You may have heard that though. I know there was talk around. So that following day, when I was teaching, it was about 1.30, and I saw a text from my next door neighbor that said, oh my gosh, I just have to tell you, there's police all over our street. So as it turns out, the people who, those teenagers, one of them lived down our street, and they were not at school that following day, and the police were looking for them, um, and I have to tell you, introduce you to a couple of my neighbors. There's Mrs. E who lives next door to me and Mrs. S who lives about five doors down. So Mrs. S is in her kitchen cleaning dishes at the sink and looking out the window and all of a sudden people start jumping over her back fence. A girl jumps over and she starts banging on the door and she's trying to get in and then a boy jumps over and he trips and falls and ends up breaking his arm. Police are jumping over another boy jumps over so the policeman caught the girl they caught the boy who tripped and fell but they didn't catch the third one so mrs. s is freaking out she calls her friend mrs. e and she says oh my gosh there's these people jumping into my backyard they're trying to get in there's police I don't know what's going on so mrs. e um, goes out to the front street and she sees that there's she's on the phone with mrs. s there's cop cars all over the street and she goes into her backyard. All of our backyards face the same direction. And she sees a cop walking along the back fence and he says, go back inside, we're looking for one, stay inside. So she goes back inside, she's still on the phone with Mrs. S. So she ends up going onto the, into the second story and through a window, she can look through into our side yard and backyard and she sees the person they're looking for and they're hiding in our side yard and there's no gate there, it's all walled in on three sides. So, oh my gosh, Mrs. S, what should I do? She says, go back out front, tell them. So she stays on the phone. She goes out to the front street and she tells some policeman out there, he's over here, it's over here. So I guess the police went into our backyard. Um, some stayed in the front. Some came over the fence and they got the third suspect, the third kid. That's the kid who was the one who had done the stabbing. So it was all very exciting police all over the street. One of our neighbors is, was on SWAT team. He was in his full gear. 
After they got these three kids, um, I guess they surrounded the house where that one person lived and had guns out and was asking everyone, probably on megaphones, for everyone to come out of the house. And all the people who lived there came out and the story, the story got taken care of. But that was a pretty crazy thing to find out while I was teaching at the end of the day that um, this horrible thing happened and it was from someone who lived on my street. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? How did it feel when the kids jumped into your backyard? Well, it wasn't actually my backyard. It was my neighbor's backyard, but the whole thing sounded totally crazy, and I'd probably be freaking out like she was when it happened. Has it changed you in any way? It made me realize that although we live in a great community, there's um, you never know about people. So crazy things can happen even on your street. Um, you don't assume that's going to happen, but uh, you know, you never know. People are all different. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Um, don't be one of the students. Make sure you're in school, not up late partying, and don't let it lead to even worse things. Teachers, if you want to share your story, please email us at crazyteacherstories at gmail.com. Superhero Spirit Day is next Friday, March 15th. All students and staff are encouraged to wear your favorite superhero gear this day to show off your school spirit. ASB will also be dropping by classrooms on this day for a flash fundraiser. Your chance to be a hero for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Homeroom teachers, please check your email for further information on this event. Today in food service for breakfast, you can have a breakfast sandwich. For lunch, there is spaghetti with meatballs, deep dish pizza, chicken drumsticks with a waffle, and chicken soft tacos with a churro on the side. That's it for today. I'm Malia. And I'm Trinity. Teachers, remember to refresh your browsers for NTTF. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time on Rio TV. TV.